Shook it up. Hello, little minions. What are we doing today? Will we show the people what we eat all day? What do we eat, Bales? Biscuits. Freshly cut fringe coming at you. Yeah, I got it all fixed. So I'm much happier with the way it's sitting now. Good morning. It is, I don't know what day it is. It's Friday. I think it might be the 22nd of June. And today I'm gonna to show you what I eat in a day. As I said, today is Friday. My mum has been staying with us for the week. She just went back yesterday. And when mummy Bobster comes to stay, I tend to eat a little bit off piste. So normally, you know, I freshly prep my food and I did a lot of that. She does enjoy my freshly prepped food. I made curries, I made a chili, I made some really nice meals, but we also ate out a lot. And when I eat out a lot, I can't track my food um, as much. And I feel like my weight sometimes will fluctuate a bit more because just like water retention, the food you eat when you're out is probably a lot more salty than I'm used to. And I've had a lovely week. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed my week with my mum and I really enjoyed eating a few tasty meals out, some lunches, some dinners, etc. But today, it's Friday, I'm getting back on it and I'm going to show you what I eat in a day for when I suppose I've been not overeating but not eating to my normal standards. My weight is up by three pounds guys, three pounds from earlier on in the week because I've just not been tracking properly and just kind of been eating a little bit, a little bit crappier. But I have some freshly made treats in the fridge. I've got some carrot cake muffins. I've got some banana bread. My banana bread recipe is coming very, very soon to my cookery channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my cookery channel, go and do that now. There is a new recipe of my chili, which is really handy for all the family. It's not just a fitness meal. And none of my recipes on my cooking channel are targeting the fitness community. They're targeting healthy people so you can enjoy it with your friends, with your family and not feel like they're having to succumb to your healthy lifestyle. They're just enjoying a nice meal and then you can also stay on track. Go subscribe to my recipe channel. It's awesome. I'm really loving my hair. Full fringe. Give me the thumbs up if you are liking my new do because I am liking it. I actually had a bit of a sleep in today. I slept until 10. It is now 11.15 because I got up, I had a shower, you know, did the hair, all that kind of stuff. And one of the things I want to talk to you about, now, this is not a sponsored video, but I have been gifted with this by Holland and Barrett. And I just think it's amazing and that I want to just really share it with you because I think it's really good. I'm promoting it because I think it will suit a lot of you guys. You know I don't take a lot of supplements. I will use protein in my baking, but mostly I tend to just take my vitamins, which are from Holland and Barrett, because if you're living in the UK, that's probably where you are getting your uh, vitamins from. So I usually take zinc and selenium. But right now, Holland and Barrett are doing this thing. So you fill out a questionnaire and it goes quite in depth with what your daily intake is, as in fruit, vegetables, um, fiber, all these kind of things, how much water you drink, if you smoke, if you drink, all these kind of things. And it will then assess what your needs are as a person, because most of us do need a vitamin or mineral external, extra vitamin or mineral, because you will be lacking some of these things, whether you are vegetarian or you have allergies, things like that. Most of us do need extra supplementation just to be super healthy. And I know that taking selenium and zinc actually really helps with my hair and my skin. I have tried to source it in the food that I eat, but a lot of times you cannot get enough of it in, especially if you're dieting, you will be on a lower calorific intake. It can be hard to get in all your micronutrients. You fill out this questionnaire with Holland and Barrett on their website and then they will tell you what vitamins you need and then you get this and you can pay for this each month to arrive because it gives you a 30 day supply or you can just pay for a one-off and see how you like it but I think it's really really handy. As you can see it's all customized to me for Lainey and you have your personal guide and look AM and PM and there's all my vitamins so in mine, I have the zinc and the selenium, as I said. 
Now let's see what else I have because they, they do customize it to you. So I also have magnesium which a lot of um, people who train will need magnesium and it helps with cramping. I've got vitamin C which is great for immu your immune system. Everyone should be taking a vitamin C every day. Um, we've got the zinc, selenium and the psyllium husks. Now that is for fiber because to be honest guys I know I don't get enough fiber in my so diet. The the micronutrients that you take in in your diet, they will help support um, your hair, your skin, like all the external things, but also your immunity. So if you're always getting colds, you might need um, some zinc or vitamin C. I know that I find in the winter months particularly, I get like more colds and things. And to, you know, kind of boost your immunity, vitamin C is a really good vitamin to take. Magnesium, as I said, is good for the muscles um, and for cramping, things like that. And then we also have the psyllium husks, so that's looking after your digestion. And as I said, the questionnaire goes really in depth into what you're taking in already in your food. So that's probably why it has given me the psyllium husks, because you have to be very honest with how you answer it. Like tell them how many, how many green vegetables you're eating, how many um, fruits, etc., that you're taking in. And I just think it's really handy because I'm really bad for not consistently taking my vitamins. And with this, I've got it all laid out and if I travel, it even has the days of the week wrote on it and has AM and PM. So if you miss it, you know that you've missed your vitamins. So I just think it's really good. This is not a sponsored post. I'm just telling you it because I think it's awesome and you can literally just sign up to it and it comes in your door once a month and looking after your health. So we'll get back to our what I eat in a day and I'm going to have my first coffee, which is always a decaf because I like to trick myself in the morning. I'll probably have like a fully caffeinated one in about like 10 minutes, but we're gonna go with the decaf right now. And I'll probably have one of my carrot cake muffins because I usually have them in the morning and I like a little bit of a sweetness. And then we'll have breakfast. As you know, I always have like a late breakfast. I usually have it after 12. I loosely intermittent fast. So intermittent fasting is where you only have a window of eight hours to eat. So I try to eat my food between 12 and eight and then you fast the rest of the day. And it just kind of suits me because I like to have more food uh, later in the day. So about 6, 7 p.m. I usually have a big meal and then I'll have lunch in between. So we'll just take you through the day. And that is me. So here we have first meal is the coffee with 33 ml of, of the Califia Farms chocolate coconut almond milk, which is yummy in your coffee. And I just add a little bit of sweetener. Then I've got one of my carrot cake muffins. Recipe is on my cooking channel as always. And I've also gotten through about a half a bottle of Evian as well. And this has just arrived because I'm updating my food scale. It's my very fancy new scales. It is not straightforward at all. It's just calibrated with this 200 gram weight. So yeah, extremely fancy. Sure, it has great capabilities. And I also got this new little one. Just upgrading the kitchen scales so I can weigh to perfection. And one bite out of it. Look how delicious that is. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I know I'm biased, but I'm yet to taste a better carrot cake like even a regular carrot cake it's just so good and it's healthy go make it so easy to make you can make it into muffins or into an actual cake and it tastes delicious guilt free mm. so now it is time for my proper big breakfast I don't know what you call it. Brunch? Brunch. We'll call it brunch. I'm going to have some of these egg whites with some of the Eat Lean grated cheese in it. I've got some mushrooms. I'm going to add some spinach and more of this Eat Lean protein cheese. This is the spreadable one. You can pick these up from Muscle Food and the egg whites from Muscle Food. I don't know about you, but I love cheesy goodness in all my food. So these are a great option because they have only got three grams of fat per hundred. Like, that's really good, guys. Like, it's low fat, high protein. It's 36 grams of protein. You're getting the benefits of protein plus the benefits of cheesy goodness with low fat. So if you're on a low fat diet, this is perfect. 
perfect. So here we have brunch. We've got scrambled egg whites with cheese in. We've got some mushrooms sautéed with spinach and some of the Eat Lean spreadable cheese. Three pieces of the bacon medallions that I get from Muscle Food and then some nimble bread with Marmite on. I'm going to enjoy this and then I'm going to hit up the gym today. I am training back and biceps. In my last training video I showed you how to train quads when you are quad dominant and I got a few requests for me to show how I train my shoulders and my upper body. But next I am going to include some footage from the other day when I trained shoulders and triceps. Now this workout will really target those bingo wings. You know that bit of fat underneath your arms. This workout is going to target that. It's going to help you build leaner arms and build up those shoulders to balance out your legs because if you are quad dominant and you have quite big legs, you need to build up a bigger back and shoulders to try and give you that hourglass look. So training your shoulders and your triceps are going to give you this lovely hourglass svelte look. So I hope you enjoy the footage and then I will come back to you with my next meal. the gym finished a big back and bicep workout I actually put it up on my Instagram stories so if you ever want to see any of my workouts from my Instagram stories they are in you know the little icons story icons and I have it under training and you'll be able to follow some of my training regimes there but I'm gonna have one of these fiber one cereal bars so I have two different flavors this is the peanut butter popcorn one and then we have the milk chocolate popcorn one now the milk chocolate popcorn one has lower fat so it is 3.5 fat and 9.6 carbs and of which 5.1 are fiber and as i said i do find it hard to get my fiber in as most people do and then the uh, peanut butter choc the peanut butter popcorn one is 4.3 fat so a little bit higher in fat less carbs though so it's only 8.7 carbs and again five grams of fiber so they are a nice little treat for having a lot of coffee, which I'm going to do now. And then I'm going to make Lex and I some lunch. I have just made Lex and I a spot of lunch. 
well it's kind of a late lunch at this stage it's 4 p.m but that's the way our days kind of roll and we'll probably have dinner at about 7 p.m as lex is now on a higher fat lower carb diet he's on closer to my value of carbs but higher fats so i've ordered him some brie so he has two of these chicken fillets from the taste sink which i get from muscle food and he has 40 grams of the brie just from sainsbury's and then we add in if you haven't tried this on a sandwich you have not lived it's the caramelized onion chutney you can get it from any supermarket this is the sainsbury's one and this with some chicken and cheese is amazing as i'm still on a lower fat diet to lex i will not be indulging in the brie i have some of this eat lean protein cheese i've got about 20 grams of that one of the chicken fillets on one of the lavash pitas lex has one of the lavash wraps so this has higher calories than this so this is his and hers lunch it's currently 5 30 and i'm just having my final coffee of the day. I tend not to drink caffeine after 6 p.m. because it just affects my sleep and I think as I've gotten older I just can't drink coffee later in the day. When I was younger I would be able to drink a cup of coffee in bed and go to sleep but I think just as you get older you lose that capability. So I'm having my last coffee of the day and then I'll make dinner and show you that. I am just preparing dinner and ignore the fact that I have a bikini top on over my training bra because Gymshark are releasing these new bikinis and I just wanted to try it on for size. That fits pretty well. But I'm making dinner in the oven right now. I have some baby leeks, I have some asparagus, I have some chopped up peppers and I have some of the paprika sweet potato fries from Muscle Food. And here I have a very colorful chicken kebab. So you can see I have mixed bell peppers, some red onions, and some lean chicken breasts. And I've literally just seasoned it with some of this Tesco barbecue seasoning. I'm gonna throw it in the oven and wait for it all to cook. A very diet friendly dinner and just really simple to make so after taking me five minutes to prep that and I'm just going to throw it in the oven. You could also just throw it on the barbecue. If you are using wooden skewers, if you're putting them on the barbecue, you will have to soak the wooden skewers in water to ensure they don't catch fire. But I'm just going to throw these in the oven right now and wait for it to cook and then enjoy. Lex is going to have some of my cheesy avocado dip which is up on my Instagram if you want to see that recipe and then we have a little thing of hummus for him as well to get his fats in. That is dinner and I'll update you on my next meal when I have it. We have a wandering Lex come in for his food. Dinner is served. This is portion control. That's the difference. Man size, woman size, leg size. Final meal of the day as the sun sets here in the UK. I'm going to have one of these Madagascan vanilla cheesecakes from Oppo. They are amazing. If you haven't tried them, they also have a lemon one. And I'm not a huge fan of lemon flavoured things, but I had one last week and it tasted damn good. So for one ramekin, and the little ramekins are really handy because you can actually save them and make your own then maybe. Um, in a ramekin there is 5.6 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and 4.8 grams of protein. I am going to try and create my own cheesecake recipe that will have higher protein, less fat and carbs. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy this because it's handy. You can pick them up from Sainsbury's and they taste delicious. I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed what I eat in a day video and my shoulder and tricep workout. If you have any questions about my food or about my training, hit me up down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And as always, hit that like button. Turn on notifications. Do all that jazz so that you don't miss anything. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner. Talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans,